In this video, we will study about the morphology. In the last video, we have studied about methodology, and in this, we are going to move for a next step that is morphology. Now, how morphology can be designed, or how we can represent it in terms of a chart, a flow chart. Now, here. The morphology starts with primitive design or primitive data. After that, it comes with the feasibility study. Then it moves to preliminary design, detailed design, planning for the manufacturing, planning for distribution, planning for con consumption, and the last one is planning for retirement of the product. Now, if we check it, it starts with the primitive need or the idea, it starts with the need and it ends up. The retirement of the product or expiry of the product. Now, if we'll come to know, if we'll check these points, we'll come to know that here the preliminary design or the specification list from the methodology and up to the planning of manufacturing. Now, these three points covers everything about methodology. Okay, now this comes under methodology. If we we'll take an example of a morphology, suppose take example of a fan, ceiling fan. Now the primitive need is that we need some element or we need some equipment, gadget, home appliance, which will give you some air. Okay. Now this is the primitive need. Now we from that fan we should have some flow of air. Which is mechanical, mechanical. Now, after that, we will check for feasibility study. That can we make a fan like that? The answer is yes. Now, if our answer is yes, the next we are going to move with the preliminary design. But how we can design it? In case of a ceiling fan, if we can design that preliminary design, there should be three blades, four blades like that. Now, most commonly, it is three blades. So we will design it, preliminary design, it will be three blades. After we finish with the preliminary design, we should or we can further move to detail design. And in case of detail design, we should know what are the components are there. Like how we can fix it to the roof, or shaft for it, hinges for it, or nut and bolt system, then motor in it, rotor in it. Blades, the diameter of blade, width of a blade, motor speed, maximum power, electricity supply, etc. So, this will come under detail design. After getting each and everything in detail, we can go with the planning of manufacturing. Planning for manufacturing. Now, once the product is manufactured, next we have to go for distribution. That how we can distribute that product to the customer. Now, after moving to the distribution, next part it is the planning for consumption. After distributing, after receiving by the customer, or once the product is received, once the fan is received to the customer, how we can use it? That is planning for consumption. And the last one, it is planning for the retirement of the product. That up to what life it will extend, or up to what years. For how many years it will work fine, or after a certain time, or after certain years, whether it will function properly or not. So that is the retirement of the product. And once it is done, it will again move to this point. The need. Now, if it retires so early, then we have to again recover it with the studies, designs, manufacturing, and all. And if it works fine, then the cycle will continue. Now, we will understand these points again in detail. What is that? The first one, it's a primitive need. Now, the morphology of the design, it begins with the primitive need. It begins with the idea. And that idea 
it can be a main objective of a design or it can be a market setting now the thing is in this under this point the researcher team or the company finds it that what customer needs so that is its primitive need now example you can take it of a pen simple pen a writing pen now we should have any instrument which can write permanently with the help of ink a normal ink so that is its primitive need that we need a pen so with the market survey we can use a pen or we will we should have a one pen so that is its primitive need next after primitive need second step is feasibility study now this feasibility study involves few things number one verifying the current existence of the need now under this head we should understand whether the similar product is available second one exploring design problem with the constraint so if there is a similar product that's available then what should be or what are the problems it is facing what should be its limitations so what are its limitations next third one effort to seek number of visible solutions now we know if you want to make a similar product or if you want to make completely a new product then we should understand what should be the problems of it or what are the problems for manufacturing it what are the constraints it and how we can easily solve it with a particular feasible solution similarly the next point is sorting of potential useful solution from the feasible set now in this suppose we have found out there are four solutions available then out of four we have to choose one solution so from that one solution so we get the right choice next we have preliminary design now this part we have already covered in methodology so we will quickly cover it and in case of preliminary design we have a mathematical model nowadays we have various softwares are available so it's formation of mathematical model analysis stability analysis optimization prediction in the future now as we have already discussed about this methodology and we know there are multiple softwares are available like cfd fda through which we can analyze the design before manufacturing it so that becomes much easier to understand whether the design is safe or not after that we are going to move for a detailed design so in case of a detailed design again we are going to come to the small scale end, from the large to the end now here simulation analysis may be tried if it, it is manufactured one the components and partial prototypes can be tested now the thing is here we are going to once it is done with the detailed design we can proceed for a manufacture and if we can test a particular or the critical part for a sake next we have planning for manufacturing now, after getting the detailed design we should process or we should proceed for manufacturing now in this process or in this step the decision is to produce now here we produce the product now in this case we should have or we have economic income commitments and financial capabilities now what is meaning of it that for producing any product we must have in good economic condition or financial stability next we have business condition before arriving at the final decision now for manufacturing any product we must know that what is our financial capability it should not happen that we have started for detailed designing and we have done with the design and after that we come to know that we can't produce it so that is why here it comes under plan for manufacturing next after that we have planning for distribution now this involves the designing the packaging product now once the product is manufactured at this step we go with the packaging system that how we can pack it easy then after packing it we should have one warehouse or one store room where we can 
store that product and after this as we have already done with the manufacturing we have stored the packages or we have stored our uh, product but we haven't get it done with the promotional activities so here the duty of a company or individual is that the customer or the people should aware of your product so here in this step you have to go with promotional activity now in the next one the planning for consumption now here in this step once the product is ready now it is in distribution phase and after that it is going to be moved to the customer directly here in case of the consumption there is maintenance environment there is reliability then we see the aesthetic and operational decor and adequate duration of service now if you are talking about a particular product though it might be a simple pin up to the plane so for each and every machine component there is always a maintenance it should be reliable there should be a particular safety and the aesthetic feature and it should be having the operational there should be adequate duration of a service now you might have heard about in case of a bikes or in case of acs also there are free services so here it comes under the this point adequate duration of service so the company provides you free services three free services four repairs and all so that come, comes under this plan for consumption and the last part of this morphology is plan for retirement now in this point here there are following points and what if you check for it few products or few goods those are retired more frequently because of technical things or technical deviations so these things should be avoided or retired sometimes it may be deliberate attempt from the industry so as to bring a new improved product way now the thing is here we have described two points number one that due to technical lag or due to technical things or its physical damage the product gets retired next one the second point it might be happen that the industry or a company it is purposely making it effective or defective but it is making it for a particular certain life that after that life there the product should be expired so that the customer will purchase new product so this should be the case of planning for retirement now here it, it was the last point of our morphology thank you